Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Were you expecting somebody else? Whether it's a colossal man, a giant mantis, or just plain old Godzilla, 1950s B-movie monsters act as a proxy for the real big bad of nuclear energy. A stands for atom. The magnetic monster sets out to, in essence, cut out the middle man. I don't follow. This is a radioactive monster movie in which the only monster is the radioactive element itself aiming for realism. You can't be serious. Except some of the science is nonsense. But this is ridiculous. Metal objects can't grow. And some of it is really dumbed down. Our Earth is a planet. Even its take on pregnancy is a bit iffy. He said some women never get that until the last two days. Ah. I'm no doctor, but that seems really unlikely. It was an inverted explosion, an implosion. On the bright side, it has one of my favorite B-movie lines ever. The maniac sings with weird voices when it is working. That's almost a haiku, but what does it mean? Who's the maniac? M-A-N-I-A-C. Mathematical analyzer, numerical integrator and computer. You mean the giant brain machine? Maniac, in short. Yeah, you really saved some time there. Well, that settles that. Matters start innocently enough. Someone is wrecking my store with magnetic power. Causing chaos. <laughs> and when the laws of physics are on the fritz, you call for Jeff, who is a scientist. And a great lover. I really couldn't speak to that. Jeff identifies this as the work of a rogue element. But where could it be? It's in my briefcase. What did you do to it? I kept bombarding it with alpha particles. Why would you do that? We had no time to consider the reason for Denker's experiment. Or and they never will. Can you give us an explanation? No. The professor's convenient death allows questions like why to be swept under the carpet and never mentioned again as they rush the element off to some place safe. For added protection, a special lead-lined truck had been provided to contain any stray radiation. Are the windows lead-lined? I leave that to your imagination. But of course, that's not the end of the story. It's doubled its size. The element doubles in size every 11 hours, and if it continues... But very soon, this element is going to make the Earth eccentric. It's going to fly out of its orbit into space. The problem with this film is that it intentionally falls between two stools. It doesn't have the science to be a China syndrome, but it doesn't have the monster to be a more traditional B-movie, despite lines like... We will use every means at our disposal to recover the radioactive matter. Police will be instructed to shoot to kill. What, they're going to shoot a radioactive element? But presumably he means the person who took the element and has just worded it badly. We didn't know where the element was, but we knew it would strike again. Again, that's an odd way to talk about something inanimate. It's hungry. And that seems to push matters over the edge. Four murders in two days. Murders? I'm going to try to kill that thing we sent you. The magnetic monster has a clever USP that is also its downfall. What? They personalize the radioactive element, and fair play, some people will buy into this. It's monstrous, dude. My problem is that these people are scientists. You remember Newball's theory of unipole magnetism? No, but if you hum a few bars... I don't get it. Yet they refer to the element in this personal fashion right from the start. Whatever it is, you can't hide from us. Also, it's structured as a monster movie, building anticipation for a type of film this was never going to be. Or it will reach out its magnetic arm and grab at anything within its reach and kill it. So they feel the need to create a conclusion more in keeping with this type of film. Now you have to stop the generators! Pitting scientist against scientist. You drown! You and 400 men! All of you! For no obvious reason other than to force an explosive climax. before delivering a weird moral coda about recreational sex. Done through love, the result is a baby, a, a lovely thing. 
But without love, done through hate or, or with fear, the result is a monster. I'm genuinely in two minds about The Magnetic Monster. Is it a film with a good idea that didn't have the budget or scientific grounding to realise it? We're witnessing the secret of creation. Or was personalising a radioactive element always going to be silly? But this is preposterous! Either way, it didn't work. But it was nice to watch a different take on a familiar subject. It's gone. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to support us on Patreon, then click here. What other cult movies have gone the serious science route and been tripped up by their own ambition? Let us know your favourites in the comments below. Bye, honey.